I'm gonna do some Bible study with you. I'm gonna be speaking out loud. I'm gonna be talking out loud. Those who submit to God's will and seek Him are in the better position than those who ignore and reject Him. Let me tell you guys a technique that I do use when I am studying. This is a Bible that I have. At this point, you guys might as well call me Content Queen because the amount of content that I'm giving you, child, like, it's crazy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video of Bobby T. I don't know if this is going to be a new vlog, but if it is, hey, how you doing? Welcome to, let's say, a new chapter of recognition. Wow, wow, I was going to say reconciliation. What? Recognition. Recognition. That's what it is. Right now, I'm on the way to the park because I'm going to go to the park and Bible study read and just catch up on any work that i have to do damn that was so bright there's a park literally not too far from me i was gonna go to that one but i feel like everyone and their mom's gonna be there so i was like no i'm not gonna go to that one i'm gonna go to the one a little bit further out i mean it's not far it's literally like less than 10 minutes from me but yeah i'm gonna go to that park I'm just gonna chill I'm gonna catch a vibe i have full battery so I hope this does not die within the time that I'm out. Again, as I said, I have full battery, so this should actually last about an hour, give or take, in regards to battery life. But yeah, like if you're new, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the family, join the gang. I literally post lots of different things on this channel. I post a vlog, fashion content, chit chats literally anything you name it i post it hope you stick around for the ride stick around to see what this vlog is going to consist of because obviously this is such a different vlog for me to be doing and yeah i think that's it for the intro to be honest guys <laughs> literally just spent like five minutes not even five minutes probably like two minutes trying to find a spot for me to actually just like sit down and like you know unpack my stuff but this park is quite full i mean this what i'm at right now there's like kids behind me i don't know if you can hear them playing football and they're just shouting and everything i literally just want peace and quiet i like this one here as well so i think i'm gonna sit up here So I think I'm going to start with Bible study. I haven't Bible studied today and to be quite honest with you guys, I haven't Bible studied in quite a minute. Like, like literally just looking back at my book. The last time that I actually Bible studied was the 25th of May and we're now 3rd of June. 3rd of June. You guys are going to have to bear with me with the background noise. I don't know if this is going to be windy. If it's windy while I'm editing, I want to put subtitles. But yeah, I haven't done the Bible study since the 25th of May and that's so bad. Like it's so bad but this is like literally the reality of how things get and like how we always just kind of like dive deeper into our own lives and world and you know what i mean and we always tend to forget not always actually but i do speak for myself we sometimes forget tend to forget to actually like set time aside and actually pray and do you know what i mean like give thanks to god and stuff like that and just to dive deeper into his word do you know what i mean so that's why i definitely want to come up here and like just to sit in the park and admire like his creation do you know what i mean and like literally just sit down and do some bible study so i'm gonna do some bible study with you i'm gonna be speaking out loud i'm gonna be talking out loud if there's anything that you want to say comment on ask questions on or anything like that interact with me in the comments and i'll definitely make sure to reply to you guys i have had a common theme recently in regards to like what topics i want to actually dive deeper in and kind of you know like find out a little bit more about so my topic right now for this month i'm going to bring it over to june as well is business and entrepreneurship like as you guys know that i do have a business and right now i feel like i am struggling a little bit and i only say that because you know i took like five bumps off from gym beats like since like december to now i hadn't like 
come back if that makes sense into regards to like posting and just being a, more consistent and like promoting my brand and all that stuff i literally took five months off and i feel like the reason why i took the five months off was because i didn't know where to go like my certain direction i didn't know i didn't have any guidance do you know what i mean like I feel like it's definitely important to remember and to acknowledge that I'm literally the only person running gym beasts. Like, yes, I have my assistant who actually has a full-time job now. So it's like, she has her own energy that she needs to put into her own life. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do need to also, sorry, my anxiety levels are, not. I don't have anxiety. I don't have anxiety. I do not. But people are like walking towards my direction. So I just want to make sure that I am, you know, being aware of my surroundings. This guy's literally just walking and just spitting. Make sure you're always aware of your surroundings wherever you are especially because like this park is absolutely massive and i don't know what's come behind me but anyway yeah so the topic for this month is entrepreneurship and business i literally wanted to you know read more about what god says about business and entrepreneurship to kind of get a, a direction in regards to like how i should move gym bees. sorry if you see me looking around it's just because i want to make sure that i'm good and safe all the time I know God is with me always, so nothing formed against me will prosper. Say amen right now. Say amen. That's my topic. I'm going to start with an opening prayer and then I am going to find a scripture in the Bible that I believe resonates with business and entrepreneurship and then we're going to study it together. We're going to meditate over it. I'm also going to show you the way that I conduct my bible study so like the technique that i use and stuff like that like guys i'm really new to like talking about how i do things online so you know it might be different to how you do it so just understand that normally in my opening prayer i always ask for wisdom to understand you know understand the words that i'm reading to make sure that i'm able to you know meditate over it properly and yeah just for understanding to be fair and for the holy spirit to literally guide me on my bible study especially today because i'm doing it with you guys but generically that's what i do if you'd like to join me in my opening prayer please stay tuned lord thank you for this time you've given us to open your word and discover who you are thank you that you don't leave us in the dark about who you are and what you're doing in the world for you have revealed yourself and your will through the bible your sacred words to us Lord, we ask for wisdom as, wisdom as we pray your word. You promised us in James 1.5 that we only have to ask wisdom to receive it. Lord, please give us your wisdom now as we approach your word. Help us to discern the truth of this text. Help us not to rely on our own understanding. Thank you for the clarity, encouragement and hope your word brings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So that's my opening prayer. To be very honest with you, I used that, I wrote that prayer a kind of a couple of weeks ago. What week was this? I wrote this back in March and I just love that opening prayer. So yeah, that's why I'm using it again. But now let's find a verse to meditate over. I tend to go on my phone just for this purpose and find a Bible study. A Bible study, find a verse in the Bible that I want to meditate over. So let's do that so i literally write verse in the bible about entrepreneurship okay i've written verse in the bible about entrepreneurship and the first one that pops up is proverbs 16 3 commit thy works up unto the lord and thy thoughts shall be established when you create a business idea and plan and share it with god he can make sure that you accomplish it there's nothing like inviting God to be a part of your business. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Like God always pulls through, especially when I feel like he's not going to, or I just feel like he's not awake whilst I'm navigating in my journey, for example. And yeah, Proverbs 16, three, there's so many verses that I love, but again, this is one that I definitely do love. And I'm really happy that it came up. So we're going to be meditating over it today. Let me open up my Bible. This is the Bible that I have. I got this from Amazon. I actually got this in 2021. And can you believe it? I didn't really Bible study that much back then. But I still got this because TikTok made me buy it. Buy it. But I'm so happy that TikTok made me buy it because I really do like this Bible. I'm going to make an Amazon storefront soon. So I'm going to link everything that I have. But yeah, this is from Amazon. Now we're going to go to Proverbs. I know that Proverbs is near Psalms. The wind is blowing heavy right now. Holy Spirit, activate. 
yep and i was right proverbs is literally the book right after psalms so that is amazing now we're gonna go to proverbs i need a wider lens so that you can see everything now we're gonna go to proverbs 16 chapter 3 i mean verse 3 Oh, and it's actually already highlighted in my Bible. Commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans. That wasn't the last. So last time when I did a Bible study on, in May, the scripture that I meditated on is James chapter 2 verse 26, which is as the body without the spirit is dead, so what faith without a deed is dead. And that basically goes to kind of, to um, say like faith without works is dead essentially. That was my first verse in regards to entrepreneurship that i studied over this is the second but i don't know why it's already highlighted but i feel like the holy spirit is leading me to meditate over this word again today because yeah i don't know like it just feel like i just feel like it's just heavy because the fact that that was the first verse that popped up like no other verses popped up that was the first verse that popped up and then oh my gosh no and then as soon as i opened my bible i've already highlighted it Oh, sorry guys, it's getting a bit windy, so if it's too loud, I do apologise to headphones users. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Oh, by the way, I'm reading in the NIV version, which is the New International Version, just for reference, because I know some people use a different translations. When I Bible study, I love to break down verses, especially when it's like a short sentence, and I say short sentence. Commit to the Lord whatever you do. That's the first half of the sentence. That's the first half of the scripture, should I say. And the second half is, and he will establish your plans. So let's go with the first half. Commit to the Lord whatever you do. Oh, wait. First, before I continue, let me tell you guys the technique that I do use when I am Bible verse and Bible studying. I use the SOAP method. I'm going to have the acronym on the screen too. SOAP. So S stands for scripture. O stands for observation. A stands for application. And P stands for prayer. That literally helps me. Oh no, guys, it's actually getting too windy. Let me put something to stop the wind. The devil's really trying to stop me from spreading the word today, guys, because it wasn't this windy when I got here. I promise you. But he will not prevail today. I'm sorry for that. In fact, I'm not sorry. In this case, today, the scripture, which is the S, is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3 which is commit to the Lord whatever you do and he will establish your plans. But anyways, as I was going on to say with the observation, how I do an observation, I always break down the scriptures, I always break down the verses to see, like for me to understand it a little bit better. So the first half is commit to the Lord whatever you do. Now that, that's essentially quite self-explanatory, but to still explain it a little bit further, commit to the Lord what you do. You need to tell the Lord exactly what you want, your plans, everything that you want in your life. Like any plans that you have, that, that'd be in like, your life, your job, your finances, your pay, like your salary, your car, your, your house, if you want to buy a house, just something like that, anything of that sort. Commit to the Lord anything that you want to do. Tell him exactly what it is that you want and he will be able to help you. Second part, and he will establish your plans. Lord is the only person that will be able to establish your plan, not just you, do you know what I mean? In fact, not even you, not you can establish the plans. Only he will. It never said we will both establish your plans. No, it said he will establish a plan as in god will establish a plan and he's the only person that will be able to establish a plan sometimes i go online and find like a like a bible study that someone's done online so let's actually try and see if we can find one okay so i'm on enduringword.com i've actually seen this website on tiktok quite a few times proverbs 16 3 Commit your works to the Lord. Every man and woman should commit their works to the Lord. They should depend on God in their works and they should do these works as unto God. Basically what I was saying in regards to committing everything to the Lord. The best chance for success is when plans are aligned with truth. That means those who submit to God's will and seek him are in the better position than those who ignore and reject him. Okay, okay, okay. I hope you're following with me right now, guys. Literally, God is speaking to me, like, through the this verse for today. Proverbs 16, 1 to 9 reflects on the heart's intention to make plans and the God's and the Lord's rule over that planning. Committing one's ways to God with reverence is the wise way to make plans. The Lord has a purpose for everything he created. I feel like I have a good observation of what the scripture means i'm going to write down my observation if you are bible studying with me i hope you can write down yours too 
this is so different for me oh my gosh guys i don't do this stuff ah. but the fact that you guys are still watching i love you and so does god right what day is it today start off by writing the date third of june 23 when i'm by myself i tend to say out loud what i'm writing just so it helps me like spell it correctly as well right soap method so s is scripture o is observation a is application and p is prayer get some highlighters I love it when my work is colourful, so I need to actually get some more highlights to be fair. I don't want to get sick, oh my gosh. But I can just feel the cold on the back of my neck. Anyways, observation, what do I get from this text? Essentially, I like to reference it back to me because this is my, let's say, personal time with God and I'm having a conversation with him as well as obviously studying his words. So I kind of wrap it around what I'm talking about. So essentially in this time I'm talking about Jim Beast, so I'm going to be saying I'm going to commit Jim Beast to Lord. Does that make sense? So yeah, I'm just going to write that now. I'll probably give you guys a little sentence or two of what exactly I write after I finish but yeah this is your time to answer the question of observation like what do you observe from the text what do you get from the text what what's your observation how do you perceive the text how do you understand the, the text that you're reading you know I'm saying text by different verse but you know what I mean You know for a second when i was writing down my plans in terms of like committing it to the lord i was very like i didn't know what to write i think that's why i need to actually start well i know now that i've actually thought about it then and i've had to get to this point where i have to think about it but before i didn't actually know what i wanted from god to do, for god to do to jim beast you know i didn't know what to what to ask for you know in this in the verse it says commit to the lord whatever you do I don't know what to commit to the Lord. I know I want Jim Beast to be successful, but I didn't know exactly like the specifics, let's say the specifics in relation to what I want to commit to him, you know? So I've written down a few pointers of what I wanted. I'm gonna just give you two pointers of what I want from Jim Beast, and I'm fine with you guys knowing that because y'all be nosy and there's a lot of bad mind out there. For example, one of my plans that I do want for Jim Beast is I want Jim Beast to experience a new level of growth within the business, whether that be with like consistent sales, whether that be with having an assistant on board, whether that be of having a, a consistent UGC creator, like something that enables Jim Beast to have growth, you know? Like a new level of growth that's one thing that i want and another thing that i want for jim beast is to be is to have a direction you know i was telling you guys earlier that i didn't know what direction from jim beast was going to be i didn't know what to do where to go and how to start i mean now i can say wholeheartedly say that i have more of a direction i am committing my plans to god and i am telling him what i want but i also need to do the work i also need to make sure that I am putting in the work and I am putting things into place so that God can put his hands over it and take control. Does that make sense? Because if not, how do I expect God to take control when I haven't even made my plans clear for myself, let alone him? You know, I know that God knows what I want for Jim Beast, I know that. But I need to make sure that he knows that I know that, if that makes sense. I need to make sure that I have the plans in place, even though he already knows my plans that I want in place for Jim Beast. Does that make sense? I hope I'm making sense, guys. I hope I'm making sense. If I'm making sense, let me know in the comments so I don't feel like I'm crazy, but I hope I'm making sense. But yeah, that's my observation and application. How am I gonna apply this to my life? How am I gonna apply this to, to literally, yeah, my life essentially? I think it goes without saying that I have to be consistent. I have to have things in place, which I'm already doing. So tick in the step, right direction. So I'm just gonna write that down and then I'll get back to you with what, I, what I've written down. Right, I've written in order for me to apply Proverbs 16 verse 3 
to my life i do know that i need to make the clear plans so i need to actually write down exactly what i want for gym bees and how i'm going to get to that place to being consistent with promoting whoosh i said that a bit loud promoting gym bees i am just trying to be more consistent now but before i was never consistent like i wouldn't really post my business but i need to be posting it every day because if it's not me then who if i don't host then who i feel like whenever you have a business is more than just your friends like your friends are not your customers you know like they're just not they're not your clientele they're not obviously i love my friends but they're not the people that i i need to be sending to all the time you know like sometimes they might not like my things and somebody else will and i need to focus on the other people that do like my things and target my energy and my my thought process towards that every video i must promote my my brand like i have to because it's going on the internet to see hundreds of people are seeing it 200 100 50 people 300 people are seeing it but i have not once promoted my brand like cool like what Flavia, do better like obviously i can put the link in the description but not every single person not every single one of those 300 people are going to go in the description and look at what i'm posting and writing about my business they're not going to do that but if i visually promote it if i visually put it on my you know in my videos then it helps you know it helps a little bit more it's getting cold again and now we're going to move on to p which is a prayer now this can be a prayer of anything it can be a prayer of a, of of wisdom it can be a prayer of of guidance it can be a prayer of literally anything so i'm gonna write my prayer and i'm like oh my gosh it's like bees like not bees but flies just over me like i'm gonna write my prayer now i've literally just finished writing my prayer the sun's going down like this is honestly been great i do want to say thank you to everyone that's watched this video i do appreciate it so much because this is definitely something that i don't normally do especially like put it on youtube as well and just come out of my comfort zone and sit in the park and do it but i really felt like i had to do it i really felt like i i was led to come to this park and i bring my bible with me especially because i haven't been doing bible study for quite some time now so yeah i just want to say thank you to everyone that has watched this video also thank you to everyone that supports me everyone that comes back on my videos and watches my videos like you never know what exactly i'm going to be posting next but you always come back and you always find your way back on my channel so i really do appreciate that so much and when i do hit my 10k when i do hit my 20 30 40 100k 1 million i am going to be remembering these moments where i came to the park and i sat down and i spoke to you guys and expressed my gratitude you know so yeah i feel like whenever i have a bible study i just turn into like a preacher like all of my friends can vouch for me like especially the people that I have bible study with like they can vouch for me like i turn into a preacher when i talk but that's good i'm literally being led by the holy spirit to say this so yeah um, i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video i personally don't know what the next video is but by the time this up gets uploaded i will know what the next video is so yeah thank you so much for watching i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video bye